Hi, welcome to this short SQL Server video tutorial. David is my name. In this video, I'm going to show us how to calculate YTD, that is year to day. So let's dive in. We have our data in the sales record table under the sales data database. So I'm going to write a simple select all statement to retrieve the records. So let's do that. So I'm going to type in select and I'm going to use the asterisk sign from then I'm going to point to this sales record table. So I'm going to say sales record and then we can click on this play button or F5 to execute this line of code and that will return the two column data we have. Now we have the my date and the total column. Now we have record for January 2018 February 2018 and so on. Now I'm going to write a single line of query to calculate the YTD. So let's do that. So I'm going to say select all because I need all. I'm going to put a comma. Next, I'm going to use the sum aggregate function. Now the sum requires an expression which is also the same thing as argument in Microsoft Excel. So for the expression, I'm going to take the total column. So I'm going to type in the total column and close the parentheses. Next, I'm going to use the over clause. So the over, and then I'm going to order by order by. Now I'm going to order by by this column. So I'm going to type in by date and close the parentheses. Now, before I point to the name of the table, I'm going to give a meaningful alias for the newly created column that will come up. So I'm going to call that result. Okay, I'm going to type in result and from sales record table. And this is all we need to do. Okay, so I'm going to select this line of code and execute. Absolutely wonderful. So we have the YTD that is year to date. So let's make many, you know, make sense of this. Now we have 8, 12,926, and that's exactly what we have here. Now, when you add up these two value, that is 8, 12,926 plus 5, 34,403, that's going to give us this 1,347,329. And so on and so forth. So this is essentially how we write a simple query in SQL to calculate YTD, which is also known as running total or cumulative totals. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.